How you perking? I hope you perking good. So, here we are, ready to unpack the 2024 U.S. presidential election. I have a sticky note here full of comments from y'all. Um, basically, ever since the election happened, I've been reading the comments that y'all have been putting in. Some of y'all have had some additional questions, follow-up questions and things like that, that you're basically, you know, wanting to get some insights into. Uh, I guess it's a, about kind of debriefing the process, processing what's going on, all the types of things. So, I got all this written down here, um, and we're going to take a look into the questions that you have sent in today. So, in order to go ahead and get into all of that, unpack everything that's gone on, it has been a whirlwind over here. I am a licensed mental health clinician as well as a spiritual intuitive, and in these videos we do take a look at the tea with the tarot. Don't be freaked out and click away just yet. Happen to have a pretty good track record here on the channel. So I am going to go ahead and bring up the cards over here and move this microphone, this microphone, this microphone, right here, right here. Look like I'm sitting on the floor. Let me lift myself up higher. Oy, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm usually in my little stool whenever I film these, but today I felt like I needed to be in the big chair. I'm in the big girl chair. Oh, wow. Such power. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anywho, on your little sticky note here that y'all gave me, these are the questions that I have from y'all before I even get shuffled up. So, I'll just put these back over here. Y'all have asked... Um, You've said that there's a lot of astrologers out there, and I, and I don't know what astrologers are saying. I will take y'all's word for it. I don't watch astrologers. I don't watch tarot readers. I don't watch any of that here on YouTube because I don't want to influence my readings by what other readers say. Um, so just go off on what y'all tell me. But y'all have said that there are a lot of out astrologers out there saying that this is the beginning of some kind of weird trials and tribulations like some challenging difficult uh times um and people are just wondering is that true are we basically entering an era of major challenges and difficulty um so we're gonna take a look into that there um have also been people asking uh well saying you know, when I put it in quotes, something doesn't feel right or something feels off. Um, is something strange going on? So I've had quite a few people write that in the comments. Um, so I guess we're going to take a look into that today. Like, what is that? Why are people feeling that? Is there something strange going on that we should be knowing about? Um, and then there are people who are saying that... Uh, there's no way that Trump won um, in any kind of valid sense. And did he cheat? Uh, things like that. So we're going to take a look into that as well. You know, I'm putting all these things down here. So just going to look into all the questions that I've been receiving since the election results came out. And as I get shuffled up here, getting ready to look into all your questions... I will say uh, a big thank you to everyone who has left civil comments. You know, when it comes to our U.S. presidential elections, these are big deals. These are very contentious. People have a lot of thoughts and feelings and emotions around it. And by and large, the comment sections in these videos around the elections have been pretty tame for the most part so i am very grateful for that thank y'all for that there were some people here and there that i'm like are you new here you know by how how they were kind of speaking to people in the comments um and some people that may or may not have been new but they certainly were you know emotionally I guess triggered and saying all kinds of shit to people and stuff like that and so you know just in case you know just just to reiterate that here on the channel 
I am not a fan of, you know, muting people or not letting people express themselves. I'm definitely a fan of people being able to say what they want to say, say what they need to say. My main thing with that is, okay, say what you want, say what you need, but let's maintain some sort of basic respect. Respect to each other in the comments, respect to the reading, respect to me and the channel, respect to the candidates or whatever the topic is of discussion, just having some sort of basic respect, basic being civil as you express yourself and say whatever you need and want to. There's all different kinds of ways to say what you need to, say what you want without having to you know, dip into any kind of name calling, um, character assassinations, rudeness, you know, whatever else. Just, we're smarter than that. And we're more creative than that here. <laughs> so let's, let's just continue to to do what we by and large mostly do but in case there's any new people here that haven't heard me say that before or didn't know that that's kind of how the community operates here exercise that throat chakra of yours and express yourself just try to be civil and try to have some basic respect <laughs> please and thank you all right i think that we are sufficiently shuffled up here yes so let's just dip into this first question on the list here that apparently there's a bunch of astrologers saying this is the beginning of some really rough and shitty times. And is that true? So let's see. I'll allege it just my interpretation. Okay, let's just jump right on into this and see. Is this just one card? Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> see if that happens to be the case. All right. Come on. One at a time. One at a time. All right. So whereas I whereas I'm not sure that it would be exactly what they're saying cuz when you when you come up with a question like that it comes off to me and it maybe I'm misinterpreting cuz I didn't hear it from the horse's mouth whatever they said um it kind of feels like the people that like are like the rapture is among us the end times are now the you know we're about the end of the world is about to happen and you know those kinds of dark things i'm not seeing that type of thing in here lord help is did someone knock this i must have knocked it i'm not seeing that type of thing in here but we do get this upright moon card so if what they mean is just hey there's going to be some darkness ahead, then yeah, I am seeing that. I am seeing that. So let's talk about what I am seeing since I've kind of mentioned what I'm not really seeing. <sighs> Starting out here on the top row, two of swords upright, two of wands in reverse, eight of swords upright. It looks like there are some decisions to be made that we are at, I guess, what would be somewhat of a crossroads here. And it seems like, well, wasn't there already a crossroads? Basically, the crossroads may have been the election here in the United States and stuff like that. And we already made a choice or whatnot. I don't see that to be the case, because if we're talking about astrology, we're not just talking about the United States. The stars are not just for this country. And you know, a lot of of us might like to think that this country is the most important one but the stars oversee all the countries on this entire planet so there's still some decisions to come ahead and we I guess as humanity have things that we can still decide and still choose the thing that I'm seeing here is that there are people who are feeling like they don't really have a choice and their hands are tied and because they're feeling disempowered they are making decisions from that place like if you feel like you have no power you're making decisions like some Someone that doesn't have power if you feel like you have no control you might make decisions that look like somebody who's out of control if you feel like you know you're a victim you might say things and do things and comport yourself in a way that looks like you're in a victim mode or something like that like you know just 
fill in the blank with all the things, we tend to act and choose and align ourselves and make decisions by how we're feeling. And this is showing that there's a lot of people in the world that are feeling like they don't have enough of that, I guess, internal autonomy, agency, empowerment, etc. And so they're going to be making decisions accordingly. That's not good from what I'm seeing here. That's not good. From what I'm seeing here, that is a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy of you create what it is that you're, you know, thinking about and how you're seeing things. You're creating that within your life. And so in this kind of a way, I don't see this as saying, you know, let, let's have toxic positivity or let's fake it or you know something like that it's just saying like let's try to look broader than whatever it is we may be thinking and again this is applying to the whole planet so i'm not talking about u.s elections and how people are reacting to that positively or negatively or otherwise i'm just talking about in general all of us in the entire damn globe regardless of what our particular country circumstances are that there is something that we can be looking to some kind of a way where we can organically see the things that we do have power over or the things we do have control over or the things where we do still have some autonomy or agency or anything like that anything that we can think of that we can still cling to that we can still work with any of that and trying to allow ourselves to focus on on that too and not just filtering out the positives because being toxically positive is a problem but also being toxically focusing only on the negative and the fears is also a problem this is urging for us to try to get that back into balance here because as these decision points are coming up for our society we need to be more in balance internally for us to kind of help to co-create something that maybe is a bit less dark and less heavy we have the power to co-create something that isn't as bad as what it could be if everybody goes straight into nothing but hate and fear then we're going to align ourselves really, really well with things to hate and things to be afraid of. Um, and they're just putting that out here full force. We have that choice still to make as a grand collective. And they're just trying to help support us in making smart choices, choices that benefit us. Um, because there's still time. There's still a means to doing that. You know, so let's... Let's not give up as a collective on that yet. Let's work together here. We're in this boat together, okay? Um, bottom row here. Queen of Cups in reverse. Moon card upright. Lover's card upright. So, as I touched on the moon card earlier. Again, this does insinuate that there's going to be some darkness coming up. That is true. That is true. But here we go again. Remember how we have the decision up here? Look at this. We got the two towers over here splitting, split on either side of the road so again this kind of sense of this side or this side so we have that choice it's like okay you know if there's some dark times and some things again again we have choice in how we show up we have choice in how we uh make decisions in our lives and how how we present ourselves and in you know a number of different ways and they're trying to kind of help us with our emotions because they do see that our queen of cups card is in reverse they do see that our emotional state as a collective is downturned in reverse not doing so well and they're really trying to come here and partner with us on this this is the lover's card i mean look at this this is like this angel coming out and really really trying to embrace and envelop and assist and partner up so we're we're getting the support we need from the beyond it's just a matter of what we do with it and doing the work on ourselves so I do see some some dark stuff coming ahead but I also see that how that looks what that's gonna look like 
is not yet set in stone. So if there's people out there, and I don't know if there are, but if there's people out there that are like, guaranteed this is what the dark times are about to look like, this thing's gonna happen, and this thing's gonna happen, and then this thing's gonna happen, I would argue that they are seeing a certain potential that could happen, but they're just reading one potential of several potentials that could happen. That choice of which one of those is going to happen to me looking at this has not yet been selected. We as a collective are still co-creating that process together. So that's why our spirit guides here are urging us to kind of look at these things in a bit of a different lens, you know, expand our lens a little bit, you know, get out of the myopia and kind of really try to see the forest through the trees here. Um, from, from what this is looking like, there's time and there's choice remaining. So I, I'm not sold that there is any particular thing that is guaranteed going to happen during this dark period that that people may be seeing but I do see that there is something like that approaching and we've we've got something to do with that so I'll put that there let's see if there's anything else about that about the dark times ahead that they do want to share in addition to what they've said here, just to make sure we've got all the context that we need on that before we move on to this next question. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay. Of these three cards, two of them are pretty good. Two of them are pretty good. So we've got our Knight of Cups in reverse. This means for those out there, whether you're in the United States or elsewhere, for those out there who feel like there's going to be someone that's going to fix this. I've identified someone that I think, oh man, they're going to fix this. So whether that means people in our respective governments looking to, you know, our elected leaders, or whether that means that there's particular, like maybe religious leaders or particular, you know, I don't know, anybody that people look up to that they think is going to be the person that can kind of really create change, whatever type of role that could be alluding to in wherever you live. I'm not seeing any of those people be able to kind of quote unquote, save the day, be the savior, be the like, Oh, you have going to fix this or whatever. I'm not seeing that type of thing happen. So I think that it's maybe unwise to put, too many eggs in that basket, um, give that person too much power over ourselves. Um, it does look like, again, we're going to be kind of tapping into us, whether it's ourselves independently or, you know, our communities, our societies, our collective as a whole. It looks like it's going to come from more places than whoever we appoint here, you know, as our Knight of Cups in reverse. The good news is our Nine of Cups is, uh, is upright and so um, is our Three of Wands. This is saying our ships will come in and we're going to be able to achieve things that we want. This is the wish card. This, like when people are all the time being like, I just need some hope, man. I'm freaked out. I'm scared. I just need some hope. Here's your hope. And here's your hope. These are two great cards for hope. The wish card especially. And so these cards are, are saying that, yeah, we are, as much as we might be entering into some dark times as the moon card alluded, that cliche comes up again. The whole, it's always dark before the dawn. That comes up again here. This sense of the only way to get to the other side of something is to go through it sometimes. You know, we, we are traveling through this to get to this. And for these to come up in the upright position shows we will successfully travel through this. So it's one of those things that it's like, well, if that's what it takes to get here, 
then I don't want to give up before I get here. And I don't want to get some, you know, nihilistic defeatist attitude about it or turn into some, you know, Mad Max dog eat dog us versus them type of mentality and screw ourselves over before we get to this. Let's see how we can figure out how to work as a collective together to get to this. And again, I'm talking broader than just politics here. They're not talking about any particular country or any particular politics as they're saying all this. We're talking about in response to these astrologers. So we're talking about something bigger, something cosmic here. Um, so I, I do see that we're moving through an energetic period that is going to have some struggles. We have not yet selected which of the struggles are going to come our way. We still got a menu of options of struggles to order from. Yay. Um, but it does look like this bodes well for us managing that, swimming through it as best as we can and coming out the other side in a better way. This, this to me looks hopeful. So they are agreeing there's some dark times ahead as astrologers have said, but I don't see it as doom and gloom if astrologers are presenting it that way. Again, I don't want to put words in their mouth. I don't know. Maybe they're presenting it hopefully as well, but this is, this is how they're giving it to me. Looks hopeful. Let me pull these up so we can get to these other questions here that y'all have. As I am shuffling this up, of course, as always, if you'd like to be a member of the Perk Squad, you can click the blo the, the bloin, the blue join button. My mind likes to really converge shit all the time. The blue join button below or the link in the description box. Um, apparently, Apple users may not see a join button and might need to copy and paste the um, link from the description box into a desktop version of uh youtube like the safari version i guess of youtube i don't know um i'm an android user so i don't know but i've seen that in the comments here lately so just heads up in case you're an apple person and you didn't see the join button and you wanted to join the perk squad there's many perks to the perk squad there's you know extended videos over there there's people's own posts there's a weekly forecast every single week kind of looking at what's to come for that week so that we get a heads up over there sometimes you get early release videos over there um you get your own penelope by your name emojis and video shout outs so shout out to you dolphin girl the game cat i love that name <laughs> shout out to you dolphin girl the game cat and thank you for being a member of the perk squad Happy to have you here on the channel. So all of that is available to y'all if y'all are interested. And we do gift channel memberships to people during the live streams as well. So if you would like to attend our live streams on every second Friday of the month or every fourth Tuesday of the month, then join us on the live streams and you may be gifted a um, one month free membership to the Perk Squad. So... Let's get into the second question where people in the comments, I saw this more than once, um, where people were saying something doesn't feel right. Something feels off. You know, is something strange happening here? Uh, so let's just ask straight up that, I guess, and see if something strange is happening. And, and specifically, those comments were coming after the U.S. election. So they were specifically not asking broadly about astrology they were specifically saying hey something about the u.s presidential election feels off doesn't feel right is something strange going on relative to that that's what they were specifically asking so i just want to make that clear to the universe before i start pulling cards on, on it i want to clarify clarify mm. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting indeed. Oh, and by the way, while I'm pulling cards, I know I've said it a million times. I'm going to say it again um, because some of the comments that I get, it does seem to bear repeating. I, I did not vote for Trump. 
I did not vote for Kamala. I have said before that I was not too keen on either of them in the idea of them filling the presidential role. I voted in the election, but I voted my conscience, and it wasn't either of those two. So, as I'm reading about left versus right, Democrat versus Republican, I identify as an independent. I do not identify as Democrat or Republican. So, I try to read these in that way. For people who say that I am biased, I have maintained on the channel, I've said a lot of times, nobody in the world can ever be without bias, 100% without bias. What they can do is try to aim for neutrality, balance, and fairness. I try to aim for neutrality, balance, and fairness, knowing that I may have some sort of bias, knowingly or unknowingly, at any given time about any given thing. I just aim for neutrality. That's what I try for. That being said, if people are just hell-bent on being like, I think your bias is coming through on this, that, or the other, then you're probably just really looking hard trying to see what it is you want to see, whether it's you want to see me be bad and biased or whether you want to see me be good and thinking about it your way, you know, try not to look hard for that. I try to be transparent as hell on this channel for a reason, so just take me at face value. Shit, I'm one of those people that like... I'm pretty good at kind of just showing you who I am and being who I am. Even in my private readings, people are like, you're exactly like how you are on your videos. I'm like, well, shit, was I supposed to be any different? You know, <laughs> I'm me on my videos and I'm me here with you. Hello and welcome. I'm happy to be here, you know. So, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's that. That being said, what I'm seeing here, something doesn't feel right. It feels off. Is something going on? Blah, blah, blah. And because I'm seeing certain things in here that go with the next question, it looks like this is kind of doing a twofer here. So the next question was people being like, there's no way that Trump won. And so much so that like he won the popular vote or whatever, or I don't know if he already won it or if he is winning it. I don't know. I haven't even looked. Um, and so people are wondering like, dude, dude had to have cheated or whatever. Um, I'm seeing that question embedded into this one. So we're just going to kind of lump them together and go at it. Um, what I'll say, this card, the King of Wands and the Emperor card tend to come up for Trump. It is coming up in the upright position. Therefore, when it comes to specifically and literally, did Trump cheat or whatever i personally am not seeing that here again that may make that may make some people really happy that may make some people really pissed off you're allowed to voice if you're really upset by that and if you think i'm full of shit absolutely please voice whatever you need to try to do it in whatever kind of way you can say respectfully i think this reading doesn't make sense I'm not a fan. I'm out. You can say that. Um, that's your way of expressing it if that's what you feel. But I see his card in the upright position here. He usually comes up as one of those two cards. I, I don't get the sense here that he literally cheated. However, what I do see, I see a king of pentacles in reverse. I see a king of swords in reverse. And they're here on these opposite spectrums. What's interesting about that is we know, quote unquote, allegedly opposite spectrums, you know, R versus D, Republican versus Democrat, left versus right, you know, red versus blue, blah, blah, blah. This King of Pentacles has come up in the kind of Kamala camp before in several of our readings um, as being whatever big energy entity anything is kind of backing her or behind her and so it would go to say that the opposite side would be then you know the republican side over here this one is also coming up in reverse so we're seeing a card that backs her coming up in reverse and a card that backs him or at least the Republican Party, whether it backs him specifically or, or just the Republican Party, and it's coming up in reverse. So this is interesting in that the question of did Trump cheat 
and the question of like if something is feeling off and not right is something strange going on it's so weird that it's kind of like it's kind of teasing apart people and factions as it answers this it looks like it's saying specifically no trump did not cheat from what i am seeing here but there is a weird something going on for there to be these two reversals on both the Democrat and Republican sides. So was there some weird things going on some kind of a way? I would be inclined to say, yeah, something, something weird could have been happening. But I'm seeing both sides be at fault here for that. Which is even extra weird. Or maybe if you're like one of those people that's like, screw the government, they're all a bunch of liars and cheaters and blah, 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 blah. Then you're like, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense to see, you know, all of that, that both sides would try to screw with something some kind of a way. So I just find, I, I find that to be interesting here. And we'll pull more on that, but let me just finish what we've got here and then we'll pull more on that and put him back in his little place. Um, the world card in reverse is kind of a sense of, you know, it's not over till it's over. So there is some sort of a sense that there's something left to continue to explore. There is kind of a sense of like unfinished business here, some type of way. Um, I, it's curious as to what that would come up with. I do feel like I've mentioned in the previous election predictions videos that there would be m more wild shit to come that like okay whatever happens directly after you know the election results come in that's all well and good but that's not all to the story the story will continue to unfold more information will continue to come out more weird things may continue to happen um more theories could float out there more inquiries could float out there more investigations could come to pass more whatever more developments can develop <laughs> between now and the beginning of next year so when i see that kind of like it ain't over till it's over there's something else going on here now, does that mean, oh, the election is going to be overturned and the presidency is going to go to Kamala Harris? I'm not seeing her in the mix here. So I would not necessarily say that outright. I, I don't, I don't, I, I at least don't see that happening by this pool. I don't see that. Um, but is there going to be something looked into and more information to come out and more developments to happen and interesting things transpire between now and the beginning of next year. I've been seeing that for several reasons now. This one's no different. This one's no different. Seeing this with the nine of wands in reverse and the six of swords upright, there is a sense here that, and I'd, know how to interpret this either this is a card that when i am looking at it in this kind of a context sometimes points to things across the pond overseas not here in the united states and this is a card about like you know feeling knocked down kicked down whatever so it does look like there could be some weird things happening overseas as a result of what transpired here in the United States election that could also start to muddy the waters as the direction moves forward that can start to feel like hey what's this about what's going on here you know why are people acting differently or are y'all gearing up for something are you hiding something whatever that seems more like abroad that could that could affect us but it's happening abroad because of the the election results saying that trump won so 
Are there weird things happening? Yeah. I see weird things happening. Did Trump himself do something to cheat? I don't really see that. Was there some form of weird shifty shit going on that could have been like cheating behind the scenes? Both ends. Yes. Hey. Let's see. Dare I try to dig in just a smidge deeper into that a little bit? <sighs> Probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> so let me pull these up, get reshuffled, and let's just see if we can get any more context from this. Of course, the buffer is that I only get what we're allowed to know from my spirit guides here. So if there's anything that we're not allowed to know, they just won't tell me. Um... And I can't make the cards say what I want them to say or, you know, squeeze anything out of the cards that isn't there. But I can ask and I will say what I see. So we will go with that. Again, this is just all alleged, just my interpretation. So let's get reshuffled up here. And as I'm shuffling up this time, then I may as well say... That if you'd like to book a private reading with me, beastalksandtarot.com, you can book a private reading with me. Um, there's 15-minute readings, 30-minute readings, 45-minute readings, whatever floats your boat. Uh, there's also Reiki energy healing from a distance for anybody that needs any kind of cleansing and clearing, uh, realigning your chakras, anything like that. Um, there's also intuitive healing for people that feel like, you know, they just really want to figure this out get unstuck you know get past some baggage that they're holding on to find a way to feel better in life feel more in control of their life and all that kind of stuff there's intuitive healing um sessions there on my website and there's also tarot tutoring for people who would like to read the cards the way i read the cards so all of that is there on my website beastalksandtarot.com all righty i think we got fairly well shuffled up here wouldn't you agree oh penelope and her matching reds I, d I did not address her today i'm sorry okay so in diving deeper hmm. let's see let's ask there's several different things that i could ask i'm sure in terms of the shiftiness we saw from the left and the right, maybe let's get a little bit more information on the shiftiness from the left and the right. Shiftiness from the left up here, shiftiness from the right down here. So if, if we are allowed to know anything more about what was this coming from the left about the elections up here, please give some insights to that. Okay, and if we can get some insights as to what was going on from the right, if we can get some on that. That would be hilarious if they all, okay. I was about to say it would be hilarious if these all end up upright and these all end up in reverse because then they would be like a reflection pond that perfectly reflects, you know, each other. But no, this one came in an upright position here at the end. But still, in terms of anything that the left may have done, from what I'm seeing here, all alleged, just my interpretation, okay. The full card here. Oh, man. I really did. I'm fixing to step in it here. Um, and by that, I mean, I did ask the question, and I did say, I will say what I see. That being said, what I'm seeing here and what I'm seeing here could make some people mad. And I don't know what to say or do about that. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. I'm just a girl reading cards. You can disagree with me. And so, sorry in advance. <sighs> the fool card it's a traveler card it can be a nomadic card it can be this whole you know i'm 
packing and my bags and you know leaving or coming or going or whatever kind of thing like that so the thing that they're putting in my mind about this is there have been some theories floated around and I I am not trying to speak ill of this community as a whole I am speaking in reference to people with maybe some not so great ideas and I'm not saying Kamala is in these ideas again I haven't seen her come up in this at all we saw Trump come up we saw the people behind Kamala come up as our King of Pentacles in reverse. Have not seen her yet in this. So I'm not saying this was her decision. But the Democratic Party, there had been some theories that people feel various different types of way over about saying like, oh, they want to get certain people in to vote a certain type of way and I see that there may have been some truth to that in some aspects that there could have been you know a thought like hey maybe that could be some strategy here so there may have been some people within this camp that thought that could possibly be an effective strategy to help had votes is to bring people in that would vote a certain way doesn't mean they tried to do that all the time or this or that or the other you know blah blah blah, blah. don't don't take what i say and add to it take only what i say <laughs> and leave it at that i don't don't stretch my words and make interpretations beyond what i'm saying okay don't be twisting my shit here this is the that's just what i'm seeing for that thing for this thing, this is a card about legalities and using the justice system. So I do see this sense of trying to use the justice system in their favor, trying to use things that would, you know, broach legal grounds in their favor. So when people have thrown around words like using lawfare against another party or whatever, I have seen here that that may have been someone's idea of, hey, that could be good strategy. Don't know who, but they belong to this side of the aisle. Whoever thinks that, yeah, that is a good strategy and that that would have been employed as a strategy to try to take hits at the right. And I do see here with the Nine of Cups coming up upright, this is a sense of if we promote this whole everything is great because remember this is the wish card everything is great this is what you wish for this is what you hope for da -da 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 -da, that it would kind of get people's hopes up and their wishes up and really get them going to thinking a certain type of way to try to help influence their votes so these are three things that i see that they could have been involved in allegedly that could have had some influence on how people would vote or who would be available to be voted on or for um, in the Democratic Party and things like that. So I do see that here. When I'm looking down here to the Republican side, any things that they could have done. And again, none of these cards are a Trump card, but this is the party we're talking about just like here none of these cards were the Kamala card but it's the party we're talking about here I'm seeing this sense of this is kind of like in a way the opposite of this this is like I'm gonna sow the seeds of everything's great and everything's perfect and everything would be wonderful if you did it this way don't you want that utopia this is kind of the opposite of that. This is the be very afraid of this and how bad it is and look how terrible and da -da 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 -da, and just make you so freaked the fuck out about it that or either scared of it or disgusted and angry with it. Either way, again, fear versus anger that those things could help influence how some people would vote. So I do see that somebody in this side of the aisle would have had 
an idea of, hey, that strategy can work. Let's make people afraid. Let's make people angry in a way that will take them further from this, this side. So I do see that in here. It's interesting that we've got those kind of opposites here going on, but still both are kind of lying to get people to, to look a different direction. So putting that there. Five of Cups in reverse. With this, there is some kind of a sense of... Mm, this one's hard too because it's, again, it is kind of an opposite of, of this one in a way. Because this is kind of like trying to get people to feel like they they don't bother with, you know wanting to 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 vote for them or they don't have access to vote for them or stuff like that so if somebody on this side of the aisle thought that yeah that's a good strategy keep people from being able to vote this way you know may not may not be a foolproof plan for everything but we'll take the every little cushion that we could get so there's that kind of a vibe there that feels kind of more restrictive in that way and I do see that being employed as a strategy this one is weird magician card upright this is a card where there is some sense of being able to kind of wield things a certain way the magician in the tarot is the alchemist they do turn water into wine you know they are able to turn just basic metals into gold stuff like that so there is some kind of a, a weird transmutational thing going on here in which case it would make me wonder if there's something on this side of the aisle that could in some ways change things i don't know if that means quote unquote changing votes i don't know if that means that there's somebody or some entity on this side that could um have some sort of control over what the outcome could be or a way to manipulate it some kind of a way i don't know i don't know for certain i think this is very challenging t territory here feels a little like eh. i don't know this makes me feel uncomfortable to see and to say but there could be something going on someone smart and powerful that knows how to to manipulate how things look or come across to some degree i don't think that they're able to like completely rig a thing or whatever it just there's something here that if employed as a strategy again looks like it's not on the up and up type side um but it's here so on both sides of the aisle i'm getting some shifty desperate things happening that aren't above grade um that don't look good sound good but they're showing up here in the cards i saw them i said them it was against both sides because that's what we saw in the first thing when i asked for this context to begin with and again in neither of these do i see either of the actual candidates it's the party that's showing up for both of these i do not see trump in this i do not see kamala in this take that for what you will take that for what you will let me pull these up and is there any last little bit about this that i might be missing we asked about anybody cheating we asked about things not feeling right or feeling off we asked about weirdness going on and it looks like yeah there's gonna be some weirdness going on now at the beginning of the new year um 
anything else we'll just say anything else you want us to know spirit guides we've been going on for a while this video is getting long we're getting closer to an hour i really li like trying to keep things to closer to 30 minutes but we're getting closer to an hour so let's go ahead and see anything else that we should know about this the fuck again we're getting the walking away card that has come up several times in both of the 2024 U.S. presidential elections readings that I did. The one I did in September, the one I did at the end of October. Both of them had this energy coming up in it. Here it is coming up again. It is nothing if not consistent about this coming up here. This is about balance and fairness. This is about judgment day happening. The day, you know, a day of reckoning. Things are going to come out in full force, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, things being completely uncovered and all lies being exposed. It doesn't necessarily mean that, although it could. It just means like, hey, we're going to get the memo. There's, you know, there's going to be a message. We're going to get the message. We're going to get the memo. Um, and something here about things having to kind of run their course play themselves out get back to a balance point and I don't know why we keep getting this kind of walking away distancing card there's based on some sort of information that comes through about something or someone who ends up on the struggle bus in some kind of a way not being in a resilient position and having to have some sort of a distance put on into this i'm getting a nine of pentacles in reverse which is interesting that this is kind of more of a feminine energy type of card but it's a pentacles card talking about like in some kind of a tangible way things going south a bit relative to all of this People having to try to figure out what in the world to do about it, trying to find some sort of silver linings however they can. And again, something about it revolves around Trump because we've got our Trump card coming up here again. This came up in the other readings. Came up in the other readings. I still do not yet understand this, but this is how they've pitched it to us. Each time they've pitched it to us this way. So they want us to know that there is something relating to him coming up to this effect but since they keep saying it in this type of way i guess we're not meant to know exactly the details of how that's going to go or what that's going to mean yet for whatever reason i guess once it happens we'll know oh that's why we weren't allowed to know or say exactly but we are allowed to have some sort of a heads up some sort of a notion of it some sort of an awareness of something that's coming without specifically knowing the exacts around it. But maybe one day we will get to know the exacts before whatever this is transpires. Maybe one day they'll be like, all right, now it's time. Now we can tell you. Kind of like how with the election readings, how I did the first one and it was kind of wishy-washy, slightly leaning towards Kamala. And I said, okay, well, I'll try again later, closer to time in case it makes a difference. Then later, closer to time, there was still some wishy-washiness, but then we got three reversals for Kamala. So I was like, oh, okay, well, now it's looking better for Trump. And then Trump got elected. And so... Maybe it's something like that where it's like, okay, farther away, we can know this much, but closer to time, we can know more kind of thing. Maybe this is one of those that will track over time and then it'll develop more over time, just like those did. Just like those did. All right, y'all. This is almost an hour long. I'm going to stop this. Y'all tell me, what else do y'all want me to look into? Put it in the comments, anything that you feel like I need to look into, whether it's about this or whether it's about whatever the hell else. Just share your reading ideas and topics with me. I keep a considerations list there. I do readings almost entirely of people's requests, and I just keep a considerations list so that I can look down the list and be like, what does it look like I should read on today? What feels right in my spirit? Boom, something will stand out at me, and I'll be like, okay, well, that'll be the one and then I'll do it on that so y'all go ahead and and put that in here and I will get on that to to present another video coming up here shortly and 
stay tuned for the b-rolls there will be some sort of puppy shenanigans or something here at the end of this so watch some b-rolls lift your spirits from all this heaviness maybe have a little chuckle or a smile and don't be a stranger come back and see me and i will talk at you later Believe me. Bye, y'all. <laughs> he mixes it up. What are you protesting about, kid? Child. What is the protest about? I have a dirty lens, apparently. Let me see. Click, 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 click. There. Why the protest, son? My name is Teddy. I protest all the time. I say too much shit and puppy noises. <laughs>